Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the YouTube channel and also to my living room. This is where we're going to be hanging out today, pulling cards, pulling the charts, and not only seeing what the astrological charts have in store for us, which of course I have my chart here on my left, but also I want to pull the cards and I'm very open to hearing and seeing the messages that Spirit has for us. So this morning I will say that I was driving over the bridge and well like crossing the bridge and I had a quiet per usual quiet moment with Spirit and it felt like there was so much for me to receive for us this week as far as messages and I was I actually slowed down driving because I wanted to make sure that I was going to make it home safe you know I don't drive fast or anything but it just felt so important for me to make sure that I was safe while I was driving and as I'm saying that we had the three of swords that just jumped out and the four of swords right underneath that but it just felt very important that I make sure that I was protected so that I could deliver this message to you guys today and I feel as though we have the judgment card that just jumped out i feel as though that that in itself could be a message for a lot of you guys but either way i definitely definitely am feeling the vibe that there's something here for us for us to share so i am going to do things a little differently this week than i normally do um and spend more time with my intuitive messages while i'm sitting here vibing with you guys and less time with the astrological charts if you don't mind i know that a lot of you guys actually prefer that you love the astrological messages, but the intuitive, the intuitive downloads are very important for you as well. So as I'm sitting here shuffling these cards and getting them prepped and primed, how are you guys feeling? What's going on in your world? It is Halloween weekend here, or will be Halloween weekend here. One of my favorite holidays ever, just for so many different reasons. It's always been one of my favorites. And it's a very special time of the year in so many different ways. How are you guys going to be celebrating it, if at all? I have my own plans. It's going to feel very hearty, I feel, is the word that's coming through for me with some of my friends who are like family, very close to me coming through. And some of my friends who are like family who are already here are the ones who I'm going to be spending time with. So it feels very good for me. So let me know down in, in the comments, you guys, what is that you're feeling? Let me just go ahead and sit with spirit really quickly right now and see what's going on. Wow. First things first, guys, I, I saw a train, right? It's a steam train, but as I saw the, the, the train, they said this train is moving. This is a moving train giving me chariot vibes I'm also seeing the image okay so there's there's three birds there's swan flamingo dove each one of them okay so spirit is saying one of these things is not like the other <laughs> what does that mean as I said that it's like there's there's three there's three there's three animal totems, there's three spirit messages that, that want to come through, right? Two of those, two of those things are, per, are coming, they're portraying something that they're not. One of them is pure. One of them is, is innocent. This is the core, authentic state of being. This is actually who they are. And those two other entities, those two other people, those two, oppor two opportunities are not what they what they seem to be or what they're portraying to be. This is not a warning. This is more spirit asking you to be cautious. And I just heard to be cautious and to be clear because you don't I hear I'm hearing um something very similar to like not wasting time. You don't want to it's like okay, spirit is showing me putting putting um like putting all your eggs in one basket, like dropping these round things, so I guess they are eggs, into a basket and then hoping that it's gonna pay off, hoping that it's gonna play out in your favor. Spirit is saying, listen, we've carried you a really, we've carried you this far. Um, we've come too far to turn back now is what is that they're saying. 
I'm also seeing, interestingly enough, I'm seeing trick-or-treaters or trick-or-treating. Um, and then I'm getting revisited back to the things that we're putting into the basket. So it's very much like we're in a time, I mean, clearly during Halloween time, this is when your children are walking around the neighborhoods, knocking on doors and asking like trick or treat. But this, this symbol is not, it's interesting or co coincidental that this is the message that spirit is showing or this is the image that it is that we're getting because it's not so much it's not that it's related to Halloween, as, or as far as I know, it's not. It's not confirmed to be related to Halloween. Um, but it's like there's something that wants to be put in, okay? So there's something, there's things that want to be put into your basket. There's things that spirit wants to put into your basket. Or there's people, actually. No, okay. So it's not spirit. There's people and things that want to put into your basket. There's things that they want to put into your life. And spirit is actually saying, this is where you're going to need to be use discernment and to be cautious and to be clear and to be aware of sorting sorting through them which one is right for you and which ones because there's more than one which ones are not it i'm also seeing you spreading them out there's this energy of spreading things out and this is if this is a person this is taking these things are all of their actions, all of their words, all of what they say, all of what they don't say. If this is a career, this is spreading it all out. And if it's one thing, one career, one opportunity, you spread it all out and you figure out which ones, I don't want to say resonate, but which ones are beneficial, which ones are the solid and which ones are empty, empty experiences, empty promises. Um, and Spirit is saying, listen, uh, I just heard, there was, a, there was actually a name. The name was, uh, so there's Jessica, Victoria, and Erica. Or Jesse, Victor, Eric. Um, those are the names that are, that are coming through. Um, there's an Elizabeth. There's a Jennifer. Um, Jennifer, Genevieve, Jean, something like that, like a, like a, so they're like, they're making a list of, um, this is very 80s vibes, like 80 vibes names, like top, top 80s, top 80s, top 90s names, like a list of those there. So I, I don't, I don't know my, I think my population that is watching my videos are in their thirties at this point, twenties and thirties, but it's like this group right now. Or if this is an older group, it's working. There's a message coming through from the younger group, like a younger than the, the generation from that. This is getting very specific. Hold on. So I heard the word plummet. There's some things that it's like, if you, if you don't sit with yourself, if you don't sit with yourself this week, um, if you choose, okay, Spirit is saying, if you choose not to sit with yourself this week, the things that you decide to hold into your basket or the things that you decide to commit to, they feel like later on, like shortly after, like a year and a year, a year and a half later, and definitely during a retrograde cycle, they plummet, they start to fall apart, they start to crumble. And this is why it's very important for you right now to sit with yourself and not answer this question or go with this opportunity or or begin this relationship or start this venture without first screening your intuition first and foremost. There are going to be some answers and some things that when you hold them. So what it is that I'm seeing is spirit saying, what is put into your basket right now? Um, it's going to be really hard to decipher and to distinguish the difference, especially if you're not entirely sure what it looks like. Now, remember, it was a dove, it was a flamingo, and it was a swan. Each one of those animals are all birds. They all have different coloring patterns patterns for the most part they all have different distinguishing patterns like but each one serves a different purpose each one is has holds a different message what is it that you want one of them the flamingo just the fact that it's the flamingo that's coming through and it's white to me it's showing like something like anemia 
It's showing something that it could be more, but it's lacking a lot of substance. It's lacking a lot of health. It's lacking a lot of vitality. So if you say yes to this, a year, a year and a half down the line, you're going to start to see how strong it is not. It's gonna to prove to you that it is not as strong as it could be. Then there's going to be the dove and then there's going to be the swan. Each one of those things are not bad, but they take you in different directions. They have different symbols. And what you wanna do, if we were to take those, those three birds and transform them into eggs, hold each one of them like Easter eggs, you will see and feel, okay, these three, these three eggs, this one is clearly not it. It's the flamingo. I can sense, I can intuitively sense that the flamingo egg is not the right one and putting that off to the side. Then you're holding in your hands intuitively the dove egg and the swan egg. Holding them, you're going to intuitively sense and feel this one feels empty. I heard, I just heard broken promises. This feels incomplete, right? This one feels more like a lesson as far as this is as far as this is going to go. This is as far as it can take take me. This feels very karmic. And this, whatever this one is, and you're gonna have to just decide for yourself, this other option, when you sit with it, you're gonna say, this feels like it has substance, right? And you're gonna have to sit with it. If you need to sit with the symbolism of the dove versus the swan, both of them are very beautiful, but at the same time, there's a very specific reward right so some of us are in a stage in our life okay yeah ten of ten of cups reversed king of swords wow queen of swords the full card reversed the devil card death rebirth death and rebirth and the page of cups so again these are opportunities or things that want to be placed in your lap and you are going to have to with the queen and the king of swords you are going to have to totally detach yourself, temporarily detach. I do not get for a minute that this is about logically looking at all of the options, like looking at all of the facts. I feel as though there's definitely that part of it, but in addition to looking at the facts and looking what was said and emotionally detaching yourself from it, you have to then intuitively feel the feeling in order to get the resounding truth of what you need now next. This is the spirit with the fool card here and the, the devil card. There, This is something that you are going to have to sense. You're truly going to have to sense and trust yourself. It's going to feel very hard. A spirit is saying this, this and with the death card here, my loves. I mean, we have the death card, we have the devil card, and we have the fool card reversed. It's going to feel like you're walking away from something that you really, really wanted. But for some of you guys who are not choosing karma, you are choosing, <laughs> my dog's trying to come back in. For the, some of you guys that are not choosing a lesson that has karma to it, um, or the karmic choice that is a lesson, this is going to be hard for you because you are actively choosing not to repeat a cycle. You are actively choosing to bury that cycle. A part of you logically and intuitively senses how strong you are in that and the reward behind that. But the other side of you, the emotional side of you, and I don't wanna say the wounded child of you, but there's a part of you that that struggles with that because you still have to mourn the, the loss of something, even though you know that you're doing the right choice. So this is what's really coming through. And Spirit is saying, really trust your intuitive discernment. And I, I heard, Look at all of the options and sit with all the options. Do not make a rash choice, a rash decision this week. Really don't, don't do it. Um, some of you guys, I'm really getting a sense. I'm looking at the chart just real quickly. It's right here on this side, if you don't know. Um, some of you guys, um, I just heard wait for the wait for the full moon. Wait for the next full moon. So what spirit is saying is that the decision or this this feeling things out spot this week, right? So it's interesting to me because it almost feels like you guys are really trying to make like break ground, right? Or you are breaking ground. So this is why it kind of gets tough. This is why this message feels so important right now. Because it feels like spirit is saying that you've, we've carried you this far. Remember the train? It's like you guys come a long distance and it's a lot, like it's heavy. 
So you've, we've carried you this far. So it's going to be really tough. There's this heightened message about things feeling very tough and challenging this week. And as I'm looking at the chart, we have Pluto square Mars. That in, its, that in itself has um, the devil card energy written all over it. Pluto definitely sitting in the sign of um, Capricorn says these are the, the, the binds, the, the things that confine us, the things that control us, the things that manipulate us, or the things that make us feel powerful that we have gained, that we have secured for ourselves from our own karmic lessons, from the things, the, the, the cycles that are not easy to break free from. And with Mars squaring off in the sign of Libra, Mars in Libra is very, very uncomfortable, you guys. This is a very, very uncomfortable energy. Mars wants to shoot forward. It wants to be strong. It wants to be powerful. And Libra vacillates. Like it kind of wavers. It kind of wobbles. And Mars wants to feel masculine, wants to feel powerful. And when it squares off with Pluto, there's this energy of not only do I want to feel powerful, but I want to be in control. I want things to work out for my better half, but Spirit is saying, listen, you are going to have to fight that demon. I mean, literally, I, I hate to use those words. I don't like using, you know, the D word, you know, demons, demonic, anything like that, but it does feel like the inner demons. It does feel like the shadow side, the shadow self with the death card and the devil card here and with the fool card reversed. This is saying like, Spirit is clearly saying, please, the, the time that you take, this week, it's like a week and a week and a half moving forward. The time that you take to kind of sit with all of this and not try to fix it, not try to console it, not try to console it, not try to woo it, not try to change it. Just feel its energy as is before you make a, a, before you make a choice, before you make a decision. Sorry, guys. going off um before you speaking of capricorns and libras right <laughs> but so yeah sit with this before you make a decision and by the time by the time of the next full moon you are going to you would have already made a choice you would have ha already had a resounding like this is what it is you're gonna you're gonna know what you feel is right or wrong. You may not necessarily have made a choice or a decision. I feel like things are still playing out. I definitely am getting this strong sense of things kind of playing, still playing themselves out and revealing themselves to you. But by the time of the full moon, the next full moon, you are going to have a really strong sense of confirmation. The next full moon, my loves, is November 19th. So by November 19th, of 2021 at the time of me filming this you are going to have a strong sense of confirmation in why you chose what you chose this has everything to do with you not getting trapped in a circumstance that has not evolved or does not have substance or does not you want to be aligned and now spirit is, is taking me back to the vision of the the steam train right that's a big heavy vehicle like thing that moves that takes you from point a to point b and if that train gets off track i just heard the word um or the song john by john mayer oh i'm thinking it's a sign da -na 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 -na. the position i'm sorry guys I don't know why. Hey, turns the whole thing around. There's something about that song. I'll link it down below. But there's something about that song. So, and it has something to do with the train. If you have this heavy train, right? And it's on track. Or if it slows down and pauses, you are going to save yourself a whole lot of headache. Because you can't, I am, Spirit is clearly telling me, we cannot pull this train off the tracks. We cannot pull it off the tracks. We cannot pull it back. It's going to move forward based upon the choice and decisions that you intuitively make. So when you slow down, when you feel intuitively called or when you feel this message and it resonates for you to slow down, for you to be quiet, for you to be still, for you to go into your sacred space and sit with it, then you, you can feel, okay, 
this is not the right track. This is the right track for me. It's going to be something that you can sense. It's going to be something that you can feel. Spirit, talk to me about the devil card and the death card. Um, pl platonic, platonic. I just heard the word platonic. Platonic. Uh, I just heard, is there something more? I just heard, will this suffice? Will this suffice? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the first card. Um, the, the, well, the, the center card, we have four of swords and the wheel of fortune, something about the smoke off in the distance. It's actually a cloud, but it looks like a smoke. It's, and it's also giving me trains again, the train, the smoke that comes from the train and then three of pentacles and night, knight of cups. So something about the energy of platonic, is this, is there something more here? And also for some of you guys, this is about... Um, I'm hearing spirit saying, you know, asking a friend or phone a friend. Um, what have others, once you sit with yourself, what have others said about this position? What have others said about this person or this thing? What is the rumors? I'm also hearing as you are pull, pulling off, you want to pull someone off to the side. What, like it's like a whisper like so what have you heard like what are they saying spirit says take what they take what they say there's there's wisdom in what they're saying what is everyone saying about this what is everyone saying about this person and there's such a thing i heard there's such a thing as gossip but some rumors are true this is a very specific message as I'm saying that, my loves, this is with the four, the four of swords here and the wheel of fortune. This is literally changing your fate, changing your blessings simply by pausing, by pulling yourself not off the track, but stopping the tracks. You change your fate for the best, for the better, simply by feeling it out. It's a very active rest stage. And then three of pentacles says, then when you're moving forward, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the opportunities and you're feeling your vibe, you're going to save yourself a whole lot of headaches. And with the King of Pentacles, this is earth energy. This is goals, intentions, life, direction that you have been wanting to manifest, that you have been wanting to materialize, that you have been wanting to, to to build in your life you've come spirit is saying we've, we've we've brought you so far we've taken you so far we've taken you so far too far to turn back now we can't we can't turn back now having said that you're going to have to make choices or you're going to have to be who you've always needed regardless of how hard it is you're going to have to be the person who you've always needed moving forward because there is this level of um i don't want to say repeating past mistakes but it's like there's some choices and some decisions that you just don't want to rush into i feel this very very seriously like heavy um but spirit says it's it's this message is kind we're we're telling you this now because we're kind to you we're being considerate with you also this week, wow, energy. This is about feeling out the energy, really feeling out the energy. What is the vibe? What is the vibe? And listen to other people's energies, what they're saying when they're talking about it. Listen to what they say, what they don't say. What is the vibe? What does the energy feel like? Um, this card is also ruled by the number 17, which breaks down into the number eight. And literally it's about death. It's about rebirth. It's about transformation. One thing kind of folding over into the next. If that truly is the case, where can this go? Okay, we have patience and we have miracles. See what I'm saying? Patience. And do you also see how patience is ruled by foggy? The energy of fog. This means that some, some things right now are not totally clear to you. Okay, 
we get it spirit says talk about advice ask them for advice let's see how quickly that card wants to jump two of cups this has to do with partnership this has to do with marriage this has to do with building this has to do with breaking generational curses break, breaking gener generational gen generation cycles this is not sticking through with things for the sake of the title this has so much more to it purpose to it this is about healing a generation healing businesses healing structure four of swords I just heard take a time out clearly when I saw this card immediately spirit said take a time out allow others to also rest and to recover and to recuperate and they are going to come to their own conclusions to their own resolution you would be surprised I just heard you'd be so surprised how strong this person will become when you give them to the space to feel out wow judgment and ace of swords spirit is speaking this is about that the, they have a revelation. They have a revolution. I cannot, I cannot carry forward the same way that I was because I was a train that was losing, going too fast. I could lose everything. This is a revelation someone else is having. I could lose everything. They're waking up. I'm hearing um, Imagine Dragons, the song, um, like, Radioactive. There, there's something about them that is coming to life. They've, they've, there's something either in them or in you. How they have been feeling themselves, how they have been carrying themselves, how they have been moving forward. They're having a revelation right now. And it's a truth that says, I cannot continue to carry this, carry in this way. I cannot carry in this way moving forward because I, I, I would lose everything. I could even lose myself. They, they're starting to feel like I've, I've lost a, a big part of myself, a chunk of myself and how I was. This is giving, giving me also, wow, this is giving me very much like workaholic vibes. It's how someone moves. I just heard how you move says a lot about you. Spirit, talk to me about that. There's a message, there's a loaded message in that. That's like opening up a box right now. That's Pandora's box. Spirit says, how someone moves says a lot about them it says a lot about them it says what they're how someone moves says what they're running away from oh wow how someone moves says so much about what they're running away from but you they don't even know it this is why you also want to sit you want to sit because you want to feel you want to feel this is crazy you want to feel their pain. You want to feel their suffering from a distance. You want to feel what they've been struggling with, what hasn't been working, what hasn't been working out, what hasn't been uh, coming to fulfillment. Like, it's like, what is coming to fulfillment? What is revealing itself? What It's like, I'm seeing someone toiling in the dirt and they keep turning over the soil. And then it's like, you're kind of doing it. Like you're turning over the soil. What are you finding in the dirt? It's like you find skulls, you find diamonds, you find recipes. I don't know why that's that's something specific. You find books, you find a, a time capsule. What are you finding? Because those things have been buried by that person. And they gave you the tool. They gave you the shovel to turn it around. So when you are turning it, what does that feel like for you? What are you finding? What are you discovering? And what... What are you going to do with that? Instead of blinding yourself to it, because we also have the Empress card and the King of Swords here. Instead of blinding yourself to it, instead of feeding it and, and seeing that this person or this thing is sick. And this is giving me business, you guys. Some of you, this is why you want to pause before you start a career, before you start a, um, a new college degree, or before you choose your classes, or before you enter into a relationship. Like, you want to see, you don't want to keep feeding into Empress energy. You don't need to keep, you should not be feeding into something that is dysfunctional because King of Swords is the part of you that says we have to implement the boundary. We have to implement the boundary. We have a lot to, we have a lot within ourselves. It's more than just potential. It's literally who you are. There's a lot that needs to be protected here. So if you are turning the soil and seeing what you're digging up and seeing what you're, is this what, what can you do with this? Do you want to do something with this?
the timeout this week is where the miracle is going to occur. So, and allow someone to kind of resolve what they've buried. So this is someone who might want to put a lot of money into um, like, like a, a real estate property transcending. So something is actually evolving. So you want to see, okay, listen, before I buy this property, before I invest in this, I need you to take care of the roof. I need you to take care of this. I need you to take care of all of these things or I'm not putting my money into this because I do not want your problem to become my problem. Resolve this first and then I'll take it on. Same thing with this and that person. You'd be surprised because there's a part of them that says, you know what? I kind of needed this kick in the ass because now I finally have someone taking me seriously. Now I finally... What they were neglecting all of this time, this is why you need to give them, wow, focus. This is why you need to give them time to consider. And this is why you need to take the time before you just say yes. Hold on a second. I do want to say this, my loves. Um, this is my Nova girl, by the way. I do want to say this, you guys. There are a lot of squares happening this week. Venus is squaring off with retrograde um, Neptune. Uh, Pluto is squaring off with Mars. What else do we have here? We have um, Nova in the background <laughs> drinking water. So if you hear that and that bothers you, sorry about it. My girl is thirsty. What else am I missing here? I don't feel like, yeah, Mars. Uh, okay, Sun squaring off with Saturn. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. Yeah, Sun is going to be squaring off with Saturn, that's going to be happening on October 30th. So I, I swear to you guys, it's the full moon and the new moon, but the new moon, the full moon in November is going to reveal to you a lot. But I feel around the new moon, that's November 4th, but I'm seeing around Halloween, I just heard grab bag. So it's going to be like, you're going to be very... It's like something, it's, I don't want to say like be mindful, but something that someone else is dealing with is your opportunity to figure out that this should not be your problem. Um, you do not want to force anything this week. Please, <laughs> Just, just trust me on this. You don't want to force anything. You don't want to force a conversation. You don't want to force a business deal. You don't want to force commitment. You don't want to, you just don't. There's this, there's this, and then you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go too hard. The placements of the planets this, this week are life changing. And if that is the case, make it for the best. Be on your, like, be on your P's and Q's. Like, be on your best. Be on your best, right? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your feeling. Mark my words, you guys. I don't want to make this too cryptic. Um, because this energy, I have over 200,000 people who are subscribers to my YouTube channel. Everyone's going to have this resonate differently. But I don't want this to be too cryptic. But there are some people who this could really be... Okay, there's definitely a, let's say, so this message really wanted to come through. Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands. So there is something that is going to come through. There is something that is carrying in. That's what I just heard. Something's being carried in. I just heard the word promising. Spirit says it's very promising. I just heard the words, keep your head up. Keep your, it's like, it's like, look up. Baby, bring it. It's like, look up to the sky. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes up. Don't be down on your phone. Don't be distracted. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes up. Stay vigilant. Don't don't have distractions. Don't have distractions. It's like you're going to see something. You're it's something I just heard it can be narrowly missed. You can narrowly miss it. Either you want to be narrowly missed or you you could narrowly miss this thing, but you don't you don't want to you don't want that to happen. I okay. This is getting a little darker. Um spirit says casualty. Like the word casualty. So you don't want to be a casualty of something um so there's two ways that this is coming through number and this is energy that we're working with so some of you guys are going to narrowly miss especially if you're driving i don't want to speak this into existence knock on wood but if you're driving 
um, you want to make sure that you are not distracted. You're not doing distractive um, driving or anything like that. You're off your phone. You're not changing the radio station um, or anything like that. Meanwhile, I'm saying don't get distracted. I'm getting distracted right now by my, my pup chasing her bone. But on the flip side of that, there are people, there's a person who it's like you're out and about and you see something, you see someone and you, you lock eyes or there's something like you hear, you hear of something. It's like whisper down the lane. There's very gossipy. So there's something that's coming through that by you keeping your eyes open, you, 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 it's like, it's a wish you didn't know that you asked for. It's a wish you didn't know that you needed. It's very, very promising. Okay, one last, yeah, Queen of Swords, wow. Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I just heard, look, don't speak. Look, don't speak. Look, be open, don't say anything, smile, be receptive, it will come to you. Look, don't speak. What's this here? Last message and then I have to roll, my loves, because I gotta start. Enlightenment, enlightenment. Something is definitely like keeping your eyes open. Something is, it's almost like, it's. it almost gives me like bird box vibes. Like I'm kind of getting an image of like, you see something and all of a sudden it's like this light. You see a lot, you see a lot just by opening your eyes. It's, it's something like, it's like an aha, something, something. Cause it's not just, it's one person's revelation cre changes their life, changes yours. And it changes everything. This is some serious life changing. I just heard um, stroke of good luck. Some of you guys are questioning sanctuary. Some of you guys, literally, this is a message for you. Some of you guys are questioning because there's so many things that have been happening to you. Am I safe? There's this big message of, am I safe? There've been a lot of things that have been happening around you that you're like, I don't even want to leave the house, Jess. Like, I don't even want to go out anymore. I don't even want to try. And spirit is saying, this is exactly there. You're going to be in the sanctuary space where now you're safe. Some things you're, you are literally a casualty of, like you're a casualty of other people's dysfunction. You're a casualty of someone else's recklessness. And right now, Spirit is saying, if you were, if you felt attacked, if you feel, I heard the word poisoned, like if you felt like you were getting sick by things, if you felt like you were scrutinized, you can't escape danger, you can't escape harm, you can't escape this evil eye, there, you're finally entering into a stage and a space Especially as um, Sun is entering into the sign of Scorpio, there is a, um, I just heard brick and mortar, like the, the breaking down of the brick and mortar. So the, the very things that were set to imprison you, new beginnings. It's like literally they're, they're getting tossed or you're getting picked up out of it and put into a new sanctuary and spirit is like, thank God. So there is a new beginning here. You are moving into, again, it's this train. So having said that, sit sit with this energy. I feel like there's one more message. Spirit said love, love. I, I heard the word daffodil. Look at the symbolism of the daffodil, my loves. It's a very specific da daffodil, the daffodil. The symbolism of it. Look at the symbolism of the daffodil. I'm seeing 444-333-111-11-999. Uh, I heard, I heard that I saw the number eight. Wow. Okay. I saw the number eight and then it falls over on the side and then it says trans, the truth is transforming, transform the truth. The truth is transforming. So the truth is evolving. It's shape. It's not shape shifting in a negative way. It's just totally shifting. Some people's truths do change who they were is not who they are anymore. And it's because they, they had to evolve. They had to evolve. They had to shift. They were, they were being um, boiled down they're boiled down they're saying spirit is trying to tell you right now some of the people that is that you love the most are they've been in a in a pot a, a boiling pot that pot has been boiling over and steaming and and some of you guys are looking 
at a different, with your own trauma, with your own shit, and you're just like watching this pot boil over, but a part of you doesn't fully understand it because you've, or a part of you couldn't go and help, a part of you couldn't turn the stove off because it's also not for you to do it for them. They have to do it. A part of you says, I don't understand. Something, Spirit is saying that the process is complete. Change. Change. The process is complete. I just heard that the system has been voided. What does that mean? The system has been, oh, voided, avoided. Oh my God. If you guys ever see me staring off into space, it's because I am. <laughs> Mm, I just heard, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. There, as, as this person is saying it, this has everything to do with relationships, friendships, family. This is something that they have been avoiding within themselves, within the relationship, within you guys' connection. That has been the blockage there, what has been causing the heat to make, to make the pot boil over, that has been voided, that has been, and what they have been avoiding, what they have been running away from, now is turned off. They've gone through, I heard Spirit say they've they've gone through enough, they've learned enough. It was enough to make them change. Oh, it was enough to make them change. They had to change. They had, they, they, they had to change. It was they who had to change, not you who had to change it. And some of you guys are looking like, well, my phone is blowing up right now. I'm gonna have to go soon. Um, some of you guys are really, it's going to be kind of, it's going to be, not kind of, it's going to be a relief. Believe me, it'll be a relief. Reform. I'm reformed. Courage. I'm reformed. I have more courage now because of the way that I've changed. Guys, let me know down in the comments if this message resonates. I got I to gotta roll. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Please keep me posted as this week unfolds. I'm here with you. We are family. This is your home. This is your sanctuary. This is my home and my sanctuary, and I'm sharing it with you, and this is a safe space. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. If you need me, you can visit me at my apothecary where I work all of my candles, all of my magic, and all of my oils there. That is at bahadilife.com, or you can find me on Instagram. I am not doing or offering personal readings to anyone at this time, so be very wary of WhatsApp offers down in the comments on Facebook or any other places. I'm not the only person that's being targeted. Something that I predicted, and we're all in this together, so just use your discernment, use your critical eye, use your third eye, and you should be good. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.